If you are facing network lag or slow internet speed problem on your Windows 11 PC or laptop, then this video will help you to fix those problems with some simple setting changes. So let's get started. Number one is limit reserve bandwidth. So basically, limit reserve bandwidth is a settings of Windows that controls how much of your internet connections capacity to set aside for system tasks like Windows update or background operations and lots more. By default, your windows may reserve a small percentage of your internet bandwidth for this task. So if you want to reduce or disable this reserve bandwidth, more of your internet connections become available for other uses like uh, browsing or streaming or gaming, then follow my steps. To go to your start or search window and type over here, gpedit.msc, now press enter. And after that, simply you need to expand computer configuration from your left side over here as you can see expand that one now expand administrative templates now you need to expand network folder under administrative template now here you will create a option called qos package scheduler so simply you need to uh, select that folder on your right side you will get a option called limit reservable bandwidth so simply double click on it now set it enable and bandwidth limit you can set here zero or, it, or it, else you can uh, disable this option so i'll set it to zero over here and click on apply then okay and you are done the next one is allow downloads from other pcs so windows 11 allows windows user to download and share windows update with nearby pcs or other pcs on your network Instead of downloading updates only from Microsoft servers, your PC can get them faster from another computer that already has them. Similarly, your PC can share updates with other PC to save internet bandwidth. To enable this feature, you need to just right click on your start menu icon and click on settings or else you can press windows and i together to open settings window. After open settings, click on windows update from your left side. On your right side, you will get advanced option. Click on that. Now scroll down, you will get option called delivery optimizations. So click on that option. Now here you will get option called allow downloads from other devices. Simply enable that option. And under that option, you will get two options, which is device on my ne local network or device on internet and local network. So I'll select in my case, the first option you can select the second option also which is internet and my local network also after that close this window the next one is enable wlan and wan on your windows 11 pc or laptop so it helps your device to connect automatically to the faster network without any manual setup and also it will gives your network better performance and improve internet stability to enable this go to your start or search window and type over here services.msc now press enter from your keyboard and it will open services window now find wan and wlan auto config so here here is the two services as you can see simply right click go properties and startup type you have to select automatic and click on apply then okay make sure that it is start mode it is already running in my case so i will click on restart and WN auto config simply right click go to properties set it automatic then click on apply then start then click on ok after that you are done the next one is reset network on windows 11 reset network will solve your no internet problems slow speed problem or any error with your network will fix using reset network simply you need to right click on your start menu and click on settings or else you can press windows plus i to open settings window after that click on network and internet from your left side over here on your right side you will get advanced network settings so click on that now here if you'll scroll down a little bit and you will get option called network reset under more settings so click on network reset and simply click on this reset now button after that click on yes and you just need to restart your PC. Also, you can reset your network using CMD. Simply, you need to go to your start window or search window and type CMD. Now, right click on your command prompt and click on run as administrator. 
Now click on yes and it will open CMD on your screen. And now you just need to type one command over here which I'll give you on my video description. So the command is called net sh space int space ip space reset then space c in caps colon slash reset log, log dot txt after that press enter and after done this you just need to restart your pc simply go to your start window and restart your pc after restart your computer you need to open cmd once again and type few commands which will help you to fix your network connection fix lagging problem and gives you better stability while you are browsing simply you need to go to your start or search window and type cmd now right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator now click on yes so firstly i will use heuristic disabled command which is help you to improve internet speed and better performance so simply type net sh int tcp set heuristics space disable after that press enter next i will type tcp auto tuning disable command which is help me to stabilize my connection so the command is net sh space int space tcp space set space global space auto tuning level equals to disable after that press enter next i will enable rss which is receive site scaling command which is help my network to fast data process and also it will help me to reduce the internet lag the command is net sh int space tcp space set space global space rss equals to enabled after that press enter now let's try few commands which is help you to restore your default network settings release the ip address and renew the ip addresses and refresh your dns cache so i'll type one by one After apply all this command on your Windows 11 system, you need to restart your PC. After restart, simply you need to go to your network setting and try to connect your Wi-Fi and check if your problem is solved or not. The next one is use task manager to check your bandwidth utilizations. For that, simply you need to right click on your start menu and click on task manager. And after that, click on processes from your left side. On your right side, simply click on this network over here and you can easily see which application taking most of your uh, bandwidth. You can simply right click and entice them. Lastly, I will suggest you to update your network drivers. So two way you can use network updates. For that, simply just go to your settings by pressing Windows and I key together from your keyboard. Go to Windows Update and click on advanced option and here you will get optional updates so click on that under optional updates you will get driver updates and check if any network driver update is available or not if any network update is there simply what you have to do you just need to check that update and click on download and install and another way you can just close this window another way you can download network update is simply you need to right click on your start menu and click on device manager over here or else you can go to your run and type devmgmt.msc after that press enter from your keyboard and you just need to expand network adapters right click on your wi-fi adapter and click on update driver make sure that your internet is connected and click on search automatically for drivers after that it will automatically update your network drivers 
as you can see i'm already using latest wi-fi driver so that is the reason it's showing like already installed so simply close it restart your pc and it will fix your problem so before ending this video i would like to share a few quick things with you i create high quality tech related videos every day so if you enjoy my content and want to support my work please don't forget to subscribe my channel also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content so i'll see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care